So I'm going to show you how to uh, make a teacher active in Power Scheduler. In this case, we have two JROTC teachers, and uh, one of those teachers is active and has all the classes assigned to them in Power Scheduler, but the other one is not active in Power Scheduler. And so in order to make them active, you need to go to the regular Power School page. This is the home, regular home page, just like if you were to log in, and then choose Staff. And then if you go to uh, our other JRTC teacher, Doug Trenda, you can go to Schedule Setup. After looking him up, go to Schedule Setup, and then there is a checkbox for Schedule This Teacher. If that checkbox is unchecked, then they will not be in Power Scheduler. If you check that checkbox, then they will be in Power Scheduler. And there's other fields that you can modify here as well, but we're just using that one right now. I'm gonna hit Submit. And now if I go into Power Scheduler by going back to the home page and then finding Power Scheduler here, and then I'll go under Teachers, um, I can use Control F and find Mr. Trenda. And you'll see that uh, he has no um, classes attached to him. You'll see that it opened up to preferences and this, this uh, checkbox is here also, but if, he, if that checkbox was unchecked, when Power Scheduler was first started for this year, then he would not be in Power Scheduler and you have to go back to the live side to activate it. So I wouldn't even be able to find his name here, which was the problem before. So now I can uncheck him from here, but um, if he wasn't here to begin with, I can't find him here because he's not here. Um, but he has no classes attached to him. In fact, all of our JROTC classes are attached to Mr. Gooding, our other JROTC teacher. So you can see that here that all of those classes are associated with him. And so now I have activated that teacher. Thanks for hanging out.